Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. First and foremost, let me thank all of my new subscribers. I do appreciate you. Uh, I'm starting to feel like one of the cool kids in the words of AVL, which is actually what I'm posting on here. Managed to get on his show again last night. He was having technical difficulties. I did Skype in, but uh, you couldn't see me. It's okay. I'm loud enough. You can hear me. <laughs> uh, we discussed uh, the happenings regarding Andrew Gilliam out in Florida. I'm actually a native Floridian myself. And I do keep up with the area because I still have family over there and friends. And uh, when I heard this, it, when I started hearing about this interview with him and his wife, essentially accepting that he's going to cheat on her with either sex. But again, t again, just like with Kevin Spacey, he proclaimed that he's a part of the LGBT community now and he should have a clean slate from doing the things that he was caught doing. Is this, does this mean that he's not going to get the help he needs with regard to the usage of illicit substances or, well, again, like I said, it just seems like he and his wife sat on television with this reporter and just agreed to the fact that he was going to do whatever he wants with whomever he wants. So, and, and have a, a pass because he has the rainbow flag. This bothers me mainly because of the fact that I do have a lot of friends in that community. Being in show business, I've been, uh, I've been acquainted with quite a few of them. And again, I've had friends and family now for over 30 years. And I got to tell you, they're not any different than the rest of us, other than the fact that they just do bedroom activities a little differently than the rest of us. That's, it really is that simple. Now, everybody can argue with me and say, oh no, it's this and that, and it's complicated. You don't have to make things that complicated. They are who they are, and you can't do anything about it except love them. So, uh, but all of my friends had families, children, uh, normal lives, houses. I mean, they, they don't live in these, you know, they don't live at these parades. Okay. In fact, that's a very small percentage of those folks. I guarantee it. Uh, it's not all. It's not all they are. It's they're like I say. They're all normal. Very normal. Other, the only difference is the way that they perform their bedroom activities. And I won't go any farther than that. <laughs> it's none of our business anyway. So after seeing a few of these folks now actually using that community to excuse or justify their horrible actions, it does upset me because it's wrong. It's wrong. It would be wrong no matter who they blamed it on or who they, who they identified as afterwards. Those actions still happened. How you identify doesn't change that. So. Anyway, I'm, I'm attaching uh, my segment with ABL last night. I would love to, to discuss it with everyone. In fact, I talk about these topics because my goal, as you know, is to try and get a talk show just like ABL. Of course, it won't be exactly like ABL, but he was my first inspiration on it. And I noticed that there's kind of a shortage on face on, on YouTube about it. Now, I don't know if it's because of what I keep hearing about the censorship issues 
or if it's just that other people just haven't gone that far into doing that kind of thing. But that is my goal. So make sure that you share, 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 comment, 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 and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And a, def a donation would be the ultimate, and I would be appreciated as well. Every little bit helps, and the more I get, the faster I can add you to my conversations. Thanks so much for being on my little acre of the internet. Stay tuned. Saturday has a new video coming up. Until next time. All right, Carla, who am I speaking to? Hi, this is Lord the Goddess. Hey, how's everything going? How are you? Everything's great. Can't complain. Good to see you again. Thanks for taking my call. Oh, no problem. Just uh, basically wanted to call in about the Gilliam uh, situation. I'm originally from Florida myself, and uh, uh, basically, uh, you better get ready for another Marion Barry situation. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what it seems like is going to happen. And, you know, what's with these guys? You know, if I was of that uh, community, I guess you could say, uh, I wouldn't be very happy about the way that they're doing these things. I mean, they do something bad and then, oh, well, it's okay. All of a sudden, I'm gay <laughs> and I have a clean slate now. Exactly. That's, that's my thought process. It's like, okay, so you're just going to use that whole thing. Yeah, I, I didn't think about it from their point of view. They got to be offended. Just a regular everyday person that happens to be gay. They're like, hey, wait a minute. Don't don't bring me into it. You were out there doing the drugs, doing whatever you were doing. That's your thing you got to deal with. Well, I remember how mad Milo Yiannopoulos was uh, when, uh, what was his name? I wrote it down. Kevin Spacey. I never can remember his name. <laughs> But I can remember how mad Milo was about that. He says, not only did it make the gay community look really, really bad and perverted, but it also make it look like everything was okay just because he's gay. You know, it was a reflection on the rest of them, too. I think that would really, if I was, and I'm not, and I actually, even though I'm not, I feel, I feel actually bad for, for feeling this way about it, but that's just wrong. <laughs> I can mute it. So I got to fix that right quick. But yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm right there with you, 100%. Something else I noticed, uh, or something else that came to my mind when the last caller was on before you answered uh, was the, the, the these cops quitting and everything like that. You know, uh, at that point, they're no longer under their, uh, the fingers or the thumbs of their uh, superiors. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised that if necessary, that uh, they would be the first people to join militias. Well, who is that? Cops. The cops that are quitting. Right. Yeah. I mean, because... You surprise me. I mean, some people, it's like, okay, you still want to protect people. You still want to go out there and help people. So some people might be in the militia. Now, the thing is, militias, people get kind of a, a bad rap. Sometimes they're not going to be bad, but sometimes they could be. But a lot of times they're just there to protect people. They want to serve, they want to protect, they want to serve, but they don't want to do it up under the thumb of the government. Sure. Well, that's why I say I think a lot of them are quitting because of that now because they're not being supported by who they're supposed to be being supported by. But again, because they're quitting, they're not under their thumbs anymore. And right. I wouldn't be surprised if they're the first ones that join militias if necessary it, in the future. It, it makes sense. Makes makes total sense because you don't become an officer for the money, really. They're not becoming rich by being a police officer. You do it because oh, no. you, you want to serve your community. So they're going Just to do like it. Just like music, that's a calling. Right. That's right. It is. It is. Anyway, I just wanted to shout out to your listeners and everything, too, and uh, thank them for all of the subscriptions, and hopefully they'll come back and see me again. Remember, I'm from Here's What I Heard. All right. So... You got to tell, tell me the channel exactly because I had a hard time finding it last time. So it's called Here's What I Heard as the channel? Yes. Okay. Gotcha. I'll put that link for Here's you in the chat. Here's What I Heard, yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. All righty. Thank you for your just, call. Just a plain eye. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. All righty. All right. Love your show as usual. I've been watching you since I talked to you the last time. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to talk to you again. Thanks oh, for taking my call. Thank you for the call. I appreciate you. You're awesome. All right, shout out to the caller. Okay, so her channel, she has, she has a YouTube channel. It's called Here's What I Heard. Because 
when she, when she said it before, I thought I thought it was I apostrophe V E. I have, but it's here's what I heard. That's a channel. So I'll put that right here in the chat. And I would have had her on the screen, but my Skype thing is not working. But I can still talk to you through Skype. OBS is just kind of weird. Windows operating system is just weird as well. So let me put her channel right here in the box. Here's what I heard. There we go. And put it down right there. Be good to go. <laughs>